The war in Vietnam ended 38 years ago, but the remnants of war continue to take lives and limbs today. Each year, more than 2,000 Vietnamese are injured by exploding landmines left behind in the war. It's estimated that there are more than 100,000 amputees currently living in Vietnam. Many of these amputees are unable to afford a decent prosthetic, and sometimes go entirely without. This not only limits an amputee's mobility, but their ability to hold a steady job and support a family. Dr. Ha Vo, a native of Vietnam, is now a practicing medical doctor and professor in Mercer University's biomedical engineering department. Dr. Vo saw the need for an affordable prosthetic in his home country and set about finding a way to fill it. Dr. Vo designed a universal fit prosthetic that is as functional as it is affordable. Amputees who have the means replace or refit their prosthetic every two or three years, but that simply isn't possible for many of the Vietnamese people. The durable plastic limb has a V-cut in the back that allows for flex over time. It also allows the amputee to adjust his or her prosthetic as the size or shape of the stump changes. This means that the prosthetic will last far longer for each patient. Prosthetic is made to last, but also made affordably. Thanks to grants and donors, the production cost of the prosthetics are covered, and patients are able to be fit at no charge. Since 2009, Dr. Vo has been taking engineering students to Vietnam with the Mercer on Mission program. The students manufacture the prosthetics while in the U.S. and then fit the patients over a three-week period in Vietnam. Because the plastic is able to be molded when heated, prosthetics are quickly custom fit for each patient. The plastic is also extremely light, which allows patients even greater mobility. La về dính Hãy subscribe 
Since the program began in 2009, Mercer on Mission students and faculty have fit over 800 amputees in Vietnam, and production rate is only increasing. Beginning in 2012, Mercer partnered with Caritas International to manufacture Dr. Vo's prosthetic in Vietnam. Being able to produce the prosthetic in the U.S. as well as Vietnam will help increase the number of patients fit per year from the hundreds to the thousands. The coming years will not only bring an increase in production and the fitting of more patients in Vietnam, but expansion of the program to Africa, the Middle East, and eventually at home in the U.S. Now 